All right, if this foot traffic would stop, I'd actually try and open this up. And oh, god damn it, it's these keys. I hate this. Is she coming back? Oh my! Hello! Oh my god! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Thief Simulator. Today we're out in Greenview once again terrorizing this poor, poor neighborhood. Uh, now, I've actually done a little bit off recording. I was just trying to get as much intel as possible, so I spent uh, a couple days or a couple days in-game time trying to get some intel on some of the other homes that we haven't hit yet. Got a little bit of intel, but it's actually extremely difficult. A lot of the homes, for example, at night will close their shutters and whatnot, so you can't really gain much without, you know, buying it. But I did notice something. This right here, we can actually open up with our new mini electric lockpick. Now, this is a generator, or simply just a power box of some sort, and we can actually turn off the uh, power to the whole neighborhood here. And if you remember, this house, this house I've been really focused on because I really want to steal from it. Uh, but this is the only house that really had a surveillance system. You can see its camera right here. If we can turn that off, that means we can go through this door safely and check out what's inside this house. So I think I really want to hit this one sometime today. I want to get some more intel on it if I can, which is why I'm out here being a creeper right now, just kind of wandering around. They don't have their windows closed, but as you can see, uh, they're usually not by the windows, and I actually have intel coming up. So what I'm going to do is go sleep in my car uh, until the end of this and see if we can get more. So probably about 6 p.m., 7 p.m. is when we need to wake up because I need to figure out when at least one person isn't going to be home. Hopefully, the Hopefully they're not always home. All right, so we're back at 6, and yeah, there's no sign of them by the windows. I don't see them anyways, so I think this is going to be another one of those homes that's extremely hard to gain intel on. I, if, they're, if they're home, they're really not moving much because, uh, yeah, I've been kind of spying on this home for a couple days now trying to get intel, and every time I come here, they're not around. So I'm going to give it a couple more tries. Uh, sleep for a couple hours, for example, and see if they maybe move around. Oh, 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 we have a guy... Thank God, they're hanging out in the garage. You have this giant home, and literally both of you were in the garage. Uh, but we do have some blue, so that's good. Let's go to the end of this blue, so obviously 12. And it looks like they're going to be out. So if we can hit this from the night when they're not at home, it's really good to see that they're both not at home, at least for a little bit of time. That gives us some time to look around and try and get some of that really good stuff. So, yeah, once again, we're going to sleep and try and gain some more intel. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We're going to bed. So I checked the house pretty much hourly throughout the night. As you can see, I haven't been able to ID them once again. Um, the benefit being, it's hard to tell if the lights are on right now, but I know in the middle of the night the lights were not on. So either they were home and asleep, or they were not home at all. And I think the lights are indeed are on now. So we have probably till about 5 in the morning, and then it gets a little bit too difficult or a little bit too risky to uh, be still in that home. So... Uh, I just wanted a little bit of a time zone on when we should attack. Obviously, we're going to wait till the nighttime now. Uh, did I just see... Is that a person there? I think that's just the tree in the backyard that you can see behind it. Okay. So, yeah. Very hard to find these guys, man. They seem to like to stay in their garage. But I really want to try and get some good loot tonight. And this is probably one of the hardest homes to hit because of its security system. So, of course, for some reason, I want to hit that when I'm a still a rather new player. So, we got... Um, basically till 8 p.m., and then they should be out of the house, and then we can turn off the power and hopefully get in there. So, good night. Gonna have a nice, you know, full day rest here, and back out at the nighttime we go. Okay, so I know I've tested this thing out. It gives us a certain time limit. Are you freaking... Are you serious? Mark! What are you doing, man? Are you, you're not supposed to be home. Okay, I think he's about to leave really, really soon here, so I'm just gonna awkwardly stand here. You know what? I guess I should have slept till 9 I think he's about to leave now, though. Yeah, he's definitely going. So while he's busy leaving his house, let's start doing this. Thank God, this this lock thing is so damn cool. So now we can open this up, and it looks like pull the lever. Okay, and we do only have a short period of time. Now I have obviously looked around this house. We have a hiding bin right here. Where we have to go, though, is only at the front. That's the only option we have. Look at all the people in the street right now. you got to be kidding me. The moment I attack is when you guys all come out? Aren't you supposed to be getting ready for bed or something? Oh, God damn it! Okay, so we have limited time, as you can see. We are really going to have to rush this. Um, 
I don't know if I should try it while they're all out here. I highly doubt they'll see me. You know what? We're going to go for it right now. There we go. Come on. Go quick. Go quick. Go quick. I can't waste time. There we go. And done. Okay. I think I'm far enough away where they can't really see me. And the security system doesn't see me either. So we can go up to the top floor. There's no windows open, though. So we may as well just do it this way. Because we have the mini lockpick, this is going to be so much faster than, well, breaking a window. That would be a stupid idea. Okay, please don't have anything on. Okay, 175. We have a little bit of time to do this. We are going to have to rush. Uh, we have a TV here. We're going to keep this at the front. Let's turn on our light so we can actually see. Again, I'm not going to be too picky at what we're picking up because I do have to rush this. Oh, crap! Level 4 safe cracking to open up that safe. Who puts their safe right at the front door? That's got to be a dumb place for it. All right, we have to find the good stuff, though. Let's look around. We have another giant TV here. Okay, wow. This is a really nice house. Just random money around. Got to keep looking out for that. I don't want to open all these because I am running out of time really quickly. These vases look expensive. I'm going to take a risk and pick them up. Um, I really want that Rubik's Cube. Okay, we now got another piggy bank. That seemed to do okay last time. Um, this is obviously a kid's room. We, we need to go to, like, an office or something. All right, what's back here? We got the bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. You guys got a beautiful house, man. Sorry I have to steal everything, but I'm just doing my job. Any hidden safes back there? Nope, we don't got a hidden safe. Uh, okay, this looks like more like an office. We got some more money, at least. That's good. How much time we got? 109 left. Some random more money over here. Jesus Christ, you guys just leave money everywhere. It must be nice. Do these guys not know that there's such thing as a bank account? I guess not. Oh, look, see? That's what I'm talking about. Did I grab that? Let me just take my time. Let's not take too much time, though. I don't think I'm going to take that TV. I just feel like that would be a really difficult thing. Okay, inventory full. That's what I wanted to see. Um, I just want to see... Man, no electronics. We haven't found anything, really. I haven't been, obviously, looking too much, though. Oh, crap. i got to get this out of the way. Okay, 72 seconds. 72 seconds, and we have to be out of here. Golden goblet. We cannot take... Is that money? Oh, uh, that's a remote. Inventory is full. Oh, crap! We have the, the video game console. As <laughs> you see, it's actually called video game. Okay, where does this go? Oh, shoot! Okay, we can't do car theft yet, but it looks like we can get in here later and do it. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go for the big TV because we have to literally run out of here, and people are definitely going to see me walking down the road with that. We know how that goes. I'm just looking for money at this point. Uh, oh, wow, I didn't even see the beautiful kitchen over here. You guys... You guys got a really nice setup here, but I, I gotta go before your thing turns back on and I get in trouble. So, whoo! Another successful run and good intel on that house. All right, and there we go. Another day of thievery done. And we took our time that time. We actually got some intel and I did it right. That felt really police were called. Oh my god. Why were the police called? Oh, because of the time that ran out? Okay, so the police were called because I turned off the power, I'm assuming. Well, I'm well out of here. See you guys later. Good luck trying to find me, because I'm not there anymore. All right, looking at the damage, we really didn't get paid well, though. I, again, I'm thinking these vases are worth so much money. And look at this crap. Are you serious? I thought they were going to be at least 100 each. That is ridiculous. We, we didn't even... We really... That was one of the worst runs yet. And it was the, obviously the most rich house. So, uh... Yeah, that sucks. I should have really tried for that big screen TV, I guess. And this is another house that is really, really intriguing. Every night, they shut all of their shutters, so I have only been able to get, as you can see, a very limited amount of intel on these guys, because they are extremely secretive. And there's no back door. We could actually get in, yeah, right here. We can climb over the fence, but as you can see, like, they're, they're all hidden once again. There's no way to get into this house from back here. Obviously, if we could break the windows, actually, can we... Usually it says we need something that's required to break them, or uh, the, the glass knife, whatever the thing's called. But, um, yeah, it doesn't say that, so I'm wondering if these are metal and they're actually, like, tamper-proof. Because this just makes me really interested at what's inside of this house. Is there a lot of valuables in there? Are they just really secretive? I have no idea, but I think I'm going to try and do it, take a major risk tonight and see if we can sneak inside. I have no intel, and the only intel I have tells me that they're probably home right now. So this is an absolutely stupid idea, but uh, I do like to challenge myself a little bit. By the way, I love the garden gnome that's creepily looking at me. Hey, buddy. Feel free to walk on by. Come on, everybody just walk on by, because the only way I can get in is right here by walking up to the front door. This is going to be a difficult one. She's going to walk back. 
Uh, I wonder if I'm gonna have time. Can I use? It depends on the on the lock. So let's see here. Front door key 102. Door is locked. Wait, what? I can't even unlock it. Front door key 102. Oh wait, do I have that? I wonder if that's in my locker. I I, I know I have a couple keys at home. I don't think that's the key though. Well, that's really weird. I guess I can't open that lock. Do I? I still have my lock picks. Yeah, I have all my lock picks, so it wasn't the fact that I didn't have any more. And I do not have a key for 102, so I wonder... I'm thinking we're gonna have to buy intel for this. It's gotta be outside, though. I mean, there's... it's It's gotta be possible to get in the house. So I'm thinking it's outside. 102. There's no intel on it? God, now I'm even more curious! Uh... Is this your home? Is this your home? Oh, that is one of them. Okay. Um, that was really weird because I was in his front yard. But um, if we go to the back here, he's obviously home now. But he obviously leaves home too. So maybe it's in the garden gnome. Well, there's some headphones. That's an extra hundred bucks right there. Is that a key? That's a USB flash drive. Ooh, I wonder what's on that. Why is it out in your backyard? Oh, oh, shit. Um, detected by who? Uh-oh. Uh, I just wanted to check in the... I, I, I gotta check in the barbecue. Come on. There's nothing here. Okay, I don't think... I don't think there's a key in the backyard. We at least got some headphones, but we are definitely gonna have to get out of here now. Oh, wait, is he holding something? I thought that would have been amazing if he was holding a key. He's holding a little lantern, unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, I think this is one we're gonna have to go back to. We get new hints as we level up, and I'm assuming this is just a later home. It's really curious how secretive it is, though. I mean, they always have it boarded up. All right, we're gonna go back to one of my favorites, the Powells at 113. Only because we're here at the right time. They're both about to leave, so we may as well... You know what? I'll probably have time to bring the car over here, too, so we can maybe steal one of those big TVs or something. Because right now, all we need to do is level up. We need to get that appraisal level two, because I want to see how that works. I'm really curious about it, so I'm excited. Haven't been getting too lucky with uh, trying to thieve the homes today, though. The one we got into, I thought would be the mother load of all homes, and uh, really, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there, but we didn't pick the right things, that's for sure. Okay, I believe they both should be gone at eight, so we should be good to pull right in here and get it done. If we can steal something big, that would be great. We know, don't park on the sidewalk, because people will wait. Oh, crap. Uh, what? What? Oh, excuse me, sir. What just happened? I was just pulling into a parking lot. Can people call the police for that? God damn it. Okay, we're going to have to do a rush job now, so I am strapped for time, but we still should be able to get in there and at least steal a little bit. I do have to be careful about my time constraints, though. So, we already had a very little amount of time. We got to go quick. Very, very quick. Come on, first try. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, at least we saved some time there. And inside we go. There shouldn't be anybody inside. We have to open up this. That's right. There's a spare key for the front door in the bedroom. Is that this it here? No, okay, so that's not it here. I guess this has got to be the main bedroom. All right, but we know where the good money is. We got the printer. Wait, it's gone. It used to be right here. So I guess once we steal it once, we don't get it again. I kind of like that, actually. Because that means I can't just keep hitting the same house at all the time. So now we got to... Man, this is a problem, though, because I wanted to actually get some decent money here. So now we got to really look around see what else we can steal because the big ticket item is indeed gone. Okay, we got another router here. You guys just love your routers, don't you? Jesus. I mean, how many do you need for one home? Who puts their pants in the living room? Jesus. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit of money at least. We're not getting the big, big ticket items that I need, though. And I can't find that spare key, so I'm really curious about that. Flower vases aren't worth crap, we know that, but we're gonna steal it anyways because, yeah, there's... We can steal the microwave. We can hold that, so at least we got that going for us. Some more money. Um, so there is a key somewhere in here. Inventory's full, so at least we got that. We have gotten a full inventory. There's a spare key for the front door in the bedroom. Doesn't really actually say where, so I guess we just gotta find it. And it... Of course, there's like a million different hiding places in here, so... That's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna have to get out of here soon, though. And maybe we'll just have to hit another house. Oh, yeah, that's right, the guitar. Uh, uh-oh. Alright, what's really heavy here? The microwave. I don't think a microwave's gonna be worth that much money. Uh, I'd rather get some more stuff, so... There we go. We're just... Oh, God, I can't get... Buy it! 
There we go. You, there really should be a jump in this game, even if it's not that impressive of a jump. But hey, I guess I can't complain. Yeah, no key in that one either. Yeah, I don't know where the key is. Like, I've opened up everything. I, did I not open up the back of this? Oh, I guess I didn't, because it's got another alarm clock. Inventory's full, though. All right, let's get out of this house. This one didn't go too well, but at least we got some quick money here. Oh, crap, I should have looked outside. Almost got caught by someone there, but that's all right. We didn't get caught, so let's go sell this to the pawn shop and do another job real quick. All right, and it looks like we leveled up with that, so that feels pretty good. And we got a guitar, so I'm hoping that guitar's worth a little bit of money. Welcome back. Thanks, buddy. Uh, all right, sell $40 for routers. I gotta remember this, because I see a lot of routers. 60 bucks for hard drives. Uh, the vase, once again, worth nothing. I'm just gonna stop picking up vases. T-Box, not worth much, but yeah, the guitar, 150 That's better than nothing. We're at 2-2 two -two now. And I think, yes, we have our new skill, so that means we get appraisal level 2. Here we go. Vinny, what's up, dude? Greenview 107 don't like our protection plan. I hope nothing happens to the jewelry in their bedroom. Oh, yes. We haven't gotten jewelry yet. I'm actually really excited. So, 107, we're going to have to... What Was it 107? Yes, 107. We're going to have to stake that out, see if we can get any intel on it. And uh, which one's 107? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's one of the big houses in the middle of the map. I don't like these ones because they're on such a populated road. It means I got to deal with a lot of pedestrians. But it's a big house. That means we got big rewards. We've done... Have we done... I th yeah, that's the one we stole the large TV from. So now we got this guy here. Do we have any intel on it? Oh, actually, we I have a lot of intel on it. Look at that. Uh, unfortunately, the important window where it looks like they might not be home, I do not have intel on. So we're gonna have to come back for that. Um, is there a parking lot? Oh, look at this! This is actually a really good spot because we got a parking lot literally right beside it. So 6 in the morning, we have an unknown slot all the way till 12. So yeah, sleep in here and see if we can get anything in that time slot so we can, uh, do this right. Alright, if this foot traffic would stop, I'd actually try and open this up. And, oh, god damn it, it's these keys. I hate this. Is she coming back? Oh my- Hello? Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I was trying to get a routine and I got it! <laughs> oh my god, that scared the hell out of me! God, you can't do that to me when I'm doing sneaky things! She snook on me! All right, but it looks like we're at the perfect time to hit this. This guy's gonna leave right now, and then we can go inside. We just gotta watch out for, obviously, the pedestrians that like to sneak up on me. Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. All right, I'm just gonna pretend to be waiting for the bus. Do, 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 and yes, there we go. That one vanishes as well, so they all vanish. That's hilarious to me. We got a guy coming up the road here. I'm gonna wait for him. And then we should be fine to go inside. Okay, so I, I gotta do it right when he goes by me, because I have a little room for error here, so come on, man. And first try. Oh, oh, doing something. Oh, crap. Okay, didn't mean to do it. Hey, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You didn't see anything. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay, inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Oh, this is the hard part. I'm gonna run to the backyard just to try and hide from everybody. Is there... Please be a door. Thank God. Okay. And let's get inside this house. We have very little time, as you can see, so we gotta make a literal mad dash. I'm gonna go do the appraisal thing first. So let's go get that. Grab some stuff along the way. We got a guitar over here, a router that's 40 bucks. Guitar, 150. And it says I am indeed trespassing. Yep, I am. There we go. Okay, so we got the heirloom. I feel bad that this- it's a family heirloom? What? Why the hell is there a mouse but no- Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna question it. There's a mouse, but no computer, man. Ah, the old Noki. Yes, I, I, I like a good Noki. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. Whoa, this is a weird combo. We got... What the hell? I've never seen a, a bathroom slash laundromat like that. Interesting. Holy crap! Jesus Christ, what are you doing leaving all this here? This is great for me. I appreciate it, man. Oh my god, I opened the door, there's more! Okay, come on. Get, get, okay, I thought there'd be more there. Oh, we got a, a cell phone, though. Damage you phone. That's, that's the second one. Why are you damaging all your phones? Ooh, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna have time to do that. Let's, uh... Well, we might be able to. If we get really, really lucky, we can walk across the street with it. I don't want to get busted, though. That's the problem. I'm worried about that. Ooh, coffee machine. That's a fancy one. All right, well, we don't have enough room, though, so we gotta take what we can take. And yeah, you know what? Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm gonna open this up. This is risky, because there's a guy right in front of here. But if I open this up, open this up. <gasps> oh, God! 
This is weird. Just walking down the street. See you later. Oh god, yep. I'm, I'm definitely doing something shady. Don't worry about it, man. Don't go. Don't, don't call the cops. Don't call. Ah, oh, the police. Okay. I I I gotta, I gotta go. I I gotta get caught. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Start. Start your car. Start your car. Okay. Police chase time. Do I go up the road that the police is coming down? No. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. We got two police here. Damn it. That printer would have been great to get. I didn't want to risk it though. The police were way too close. All right, so it looks like they're still looking for me, so I made my escape before they got there. And probably if I would have grabbed that printer, I would have got caught. So I think that was a smart thing to do. Whew! All right, let's go home and see how this appraisal works. All right, this is the tool I've been waiting for. All right, how do, how do we do this? Interact with jewelry tools. Wait, I need to buy jewelry tools. Okay, so how much is that? Usually these things are not cheap. I got three grand right now, though. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, wow, just enough. Jewelry tools is 2600 for, like, a file and another thing. God damn, man. Even thieves have to pay out the ass for the tools that they need, I guess. All right, so let's go see how this works. This is exciting, man. So we have the heirloom bracelet. We're going to select that. Now, what do we do? Um, oh, wow. So we actually... Interesting. Let's read this tutorial. Jewelry tool allows you to dis disassemble jewelry before selling it. So we can actually, like, de-slot the gems? Oh my god, so yeah, if we select mouse zero, disassemble, hold mouse zero. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it. That's really bright, I can't see a damn thing. But that is so cool that we actually do this. Okay, there we go, we're gonna take that one out. So yeah, it's just like popping them out. And you know we hit the mother load here, this is the good stuff. Alright, come on, give me that, and this. Now I'm assuming we have to take off the links as well. So now we can do that maybe? Oh, it looks like we gotta do it that way, detaching. So how much is this going to be worth? This is actually a long process to do. I kind of like it. All right. I wonder how much this adds to the value of the thing. I I, I should have checked how much it was worth at the pawn shop. But, uh, yeah, we did. The knows how to handle a real safe. Are your lockpicking skills up to the job? Probably not, because you want lockpicking level four. And, yes, that is the next goal. So, yeah, we've done a lot of lockpicking. I'm excited to get that one, though, because that's how we get into, like, safe cracking and everything. So... That sounds really, really fun. Now, do we sell the, these parts now? Let's go to the black market, see if we can get anything there. Um, oh, nothing in wanted. Art, gear parts. Electronics, damage you phone. Yeah, hell yeah, I got two of those, so we're gonna sell that. Uh, oh, the guitar, double the price? Okay, it's a good thing I checked this, man. So at least we got that done, but how do I sell my gems that I just got? They'll okay, so let's see the damage here, man. Um, wow, where is it? Bracelet, parts, there we go, 800. So I really wish I checked this beforehand, because 800 is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but it would have been cool to see how much we profited by taking it apart. Regardless, we're definitely going to sell that for that much money, and... Uh, yeah, we have a decent few items in here that is worth a little bit at least. Gotta say, after a little bit of a rough start today, uh, we ended up earning a lot of money as you can see. So, very, very good. We're back to 2000 already after spending uh, almost 3000 so not bad at all. Alright guys, but it's time to wrap up another episode of Thief Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, getting into appraisal today and taking apart jewelry. Really, really cool. Next time, we're going to get lockpicking level 4, and that probably means we're going to be doing some safe cracking. So I'm really excited for that, and I hope you guys are as well. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.